Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at question two of paper one of the sample assessment material for further pure IGCSE math. Now, what we're looking at is this diagram with a triangle connected to a sector of a circle. So, let's see, what are they asking us to do? They're finding us, they're asking us to find the length of AB. So this length, and also the area of the shape ABC, so this entire thing, which to me it looks like it is composed of this triangle here and this sector here. Now, let me just get my calculator because I have the feeling that we're going to have to use some kind of cosine rule to do this question. So first they want us to find the length of AB. Now to do that, let's just quickly sketch it out again. To find this length, when we know this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, we need to know this angle because once you know two lengths and an angle, you can use the cosine rule, that is c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. We can use this rule to figure out this length. And to find this angle, what we're going to do is find this angle first and subtract it from 180. How will we find this angle? Well, we know that this is 6, and we know that this is pi, and we know there is a relationship between the arc length of a sector and the angle of the sector, and that is that the arc length L is equal to theta in radians times R, the radius. Alright, so let's put the figures we know into this formula to find the angle here first. So. We want to find theta, so we rearrange the formula. Theta is L over R, or rather, theta is the arc length is pi and the radius is 6. Theta is pi over 6. And now you look here and find that theta 2, the angle, the angle we are actually trying to find here, would be equal to pi radians minus pi over 6 radians, which is equal to 5 pi over 6 radians. Now, we know we're going to have to take the cosine of this, so let's just say that, let's look at the unit circle here, and 5 pi over 6 radians, that is equal to 150 degrees, or roughly this angle. And since the cosine is the height of this equilateral triangle here, is the negative of the height of this triangle here, the cosine is minus root 3 over 2. So, what else do we know? This side A is 10 centimeters, and this side B is 6 centimeters. That's number 6. 6 centimeters. Now, let us try and find this angle here, this length here. So we know this length is C, and C will therefore be the square root of this whole expression. So we're going to evaluate this expression first, and then take the square root of it to find C. Now, it's a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos C, and a squared is 100, b squared is 36, because it's 6 squared, and then it's minus 2 times a, which is 10, times b, which is 6, times the cosine of c, which is minus root 3 over 2. And now I'm thinking that the 2 here and the 2 here cancels out, so that's going to be minus root 3 and minus this, and we're going to Take, make this positive and remove the negative sign here because the negative times the negative is a positive. 
And now it's 10 times 6 times root 3, or 60 root 3. So c squared is 100 plus 36 plus 60 root 3. Or it is 136 plus 60 root 3. Now, since c squared is that, we want to take the square root of this. So the square root of 136, c is equal to the square root of 136 plus 60 root 3. Uh, in the mark scheme, I checked earlier, but they'll want you to write the evaluated expression here within the square root before you actually take the square root. So if I'm going to go to my calculator here, try and get 136 plus 60 times the square root of 3. That's equal to 239.923 blah 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 blah. So we can write that here. 239.923 and this will be equal to so the square root of the answer 15.489 da, 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 da. and then you, you'll want to show the rounding process as well so 15.489 this is equal to you are allowed to round to three significant figures it's equal to 15.5 centimeters just draw a box around it show it that that's your answer to part a and B, the area of the shape ABC. So it's going to be the area of the triangle plus the area of the sector. Now, since we don't know the height of this triangle, because it's 10 and 6 and 15 and a half. The way we can find the area of this is simply by using the sine rule. So if we say this angle is C and this will be our A and this will be our B, we take the area of the triangle must be equal to half AB sine C, which is half times A, which is 6 times B, which is 10 times sine C. And C is 150 degrees or 5 pi over 6 radians. So if you look back at our unit circle, it's here. And this being the equilateral triangle is pointing this way and is on like the equilateral triangle here. It's just the height of half of a side, so that's one and a half. Sine, sine 150 degrees is one and a half. So it's times another one and a half here. So half times six times 10 times a half. And then 10 times a half is five. And half times six is three is equal to three times five, which is 15. So the area of the triangle is 15 and now the area of the sector so you may recall earlier that the area of a, sec of a sector is theta r squared over 2 now there's a nice proof of this if you know it but we'll just go with the fact that you might know it anyway and we know our theta is pi over 6 from when we worked it out in question a and our r is 6 centimeters because that is the radius of the sector on the diagram because it's 6, 6 pi, and pi over 6 radians. So I just want to add units to that to make it more clear. And then you'll have pi over 6 times 6 times 6 over 2. And this over 6 times 6 cancel out, and 6 and 2 cancel out, and this becomes 3. And you're left with the area is equal to 3 pi. So now the area of the whole thing, since the area of the sector is 3 pi, the area of the whole thing will be 15 plus 3 pi. And I suppose you could leave it like that, but just to be safe, 
you should circle this because it's the exact answer and then you should evaluate it into a decimal form so you'll have to use your calculator again calculator again 15 plus 3 pi is equal to 24.42477 da, 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 da. And you'll get that the area is 24.4 centimeters squared. So that's our answer to B. Now, just to recap, to find the length of AB, wait, I'll draw a cleaner diagram here. So we know this side, we know this, we know this, we know this. Okay, since these two are the same, this must be a circle. And since this is not, not a circle, I mean a sector of a circle. Since these two are the same, this must be the sector of a circle. And since this is an arc around these two, it actually tells us this anyway. We don't have to work it out. But we know this is a sector of a circle. So that means using this and this, we can find out this angle. And by using this angle, we can find out this angle. And by using these two sides and this angle, we can find out this side, which achieves our goal for question A. And finally, to find the area of the shape ABC, we use this. We use the sine area rule. So area equals 1 over 2 AB sine C. So we use this side, this angle, and this side to find the area for the triangle. And then we use the radius and the angle to find the area of the sector. We add them together and we get our final area for the whole shape. Now, let's go down to the mark scheme and see if we were correct. That was too far. All right, so, yep, that angle is pi over six, and then the next one must be pi minus that, so 5 pi over 6, let's give ourselves a mark for that. And then that side, we just used a lowercase c because it was op opposite to the angle at c, but these guys are using ab because it is the line between ab. Generally, when calculating distances in photo pure papers, you can use either form, but to be honest, even though it's easier to use the lowercase form, it might be actually better for you, especially in questions about Cartesian coordinates, to use this double capital letter notation for a length. So, yep, we got this at 15.5 centimeters. And these are in brackets, meaning you don't need to give the units, but to flex on your examiner, you might want to do it anyway. And the area is half times one side times the second side times the sine of the angle between them, which would be 3 pi. And we add that to 15, which is... Okay, so, so this is the area of the triangle, this is the area of the sector, we add them together, and we get 24.424 da, 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 da. and that would be our answer because we're rounding to three significant figures all right so this is the alternative method of working it out interesting what have they done here that seems like they are doing the same method it's just a different method of calculating the sector area with one half times pi times six because they know that the angle is pi over six so they if you made that assumption and you did that calculation beforehand and you just wrote half times pi times six that i guess they'd give you the mark as well so all in all six marks for this question thank you for watching